Good morning, everyone. This is Gary Kay, and I want to thank you for joining us for another pre-ISE video cast. We're getting closer and closer to ISE, and we're talking to some of the big brands that are going to be there and some of the brands that have sort of like pioneered our industry and sort of guided our industry over the years. And one of those is definitely uh, Christy. I'm joined with Thomas Morozek, who's a product manager at Christy. Thomas, how are you doing? Hi, Gary. Thanks a while. Greetings from Germany, by the way. Yeah, I'm looking. I'm looking forward to being closer to your side of the world here in a, in just a couple of weeks. Uh, and yeah. I know you're excited about ISE and getting back to, quote unquote, normal. We've heard that many, many times over the years. Um, but uh, what are you most looking for? What is Christy most looking forward to at ISE? I mean, I know getting back and seeing people is part of it, but what else? Well, that's, that's uh, actually the, the biggest part of it. So it's been a tough couple of years for everybody, especially with traveling. And so so we're really excited to reunite with the Pro-IV community again and meet face to face. Yeah. So please, everybody, welcome to IC. Yeah. Well, it, it is. I mean, you're right. We've all been talking to each other two-dimensionally for a, few, a couple of years, and some countries have been shut down longer and, and at different times than others. Uh, some have been able to travel here and there, but we're going to finally all be back together in Barcelona. We don't really know what to expect in Barcelona just because it's the first time ISE's actually been there. So we're all kind of wondering what it's going to be like. But the big brands and the, and the companies that have always been the stalwarts of the industry, Christy included, are going to be there. Um, what can we expect when we walk around your booth? I mean, you always do a phenomenal job showing end-to-end -end solutions and how you always connect everything together and show how everything works well together. But what, what can we expect when we walk into the stand at ISE? Well, the, we will mostly show our end-to-end -end, um, solutions. Um, as Christy is known mostly for our projection technology, yeah. but we also provide LED and LCD video wall technology. And that's something we show, uh, including the image processing side of it. So our image processing devices, media service, and things like that. And uh, also the content distribution solutions. So that's what we call the end-to-end -end solution. Uh, and that's something we want to show there. And what about, I mean, you mentioned projection. I mean, Christie's uh, heritage is, is obviously projection. Uh, a lot of pioneering in projection over the years. I mean, way, way back, uh, Christie had the simplest way to converge your projector by building an all-in-one convergence system. Uh, Christie was the first company that I remember having digital convergence. Christie was the first company I remember having high-definition projection. And uh, and also the first company that shipped a digital cinema projector, a lot of firsts. I'm, I'm sure that's going to be a, a focus for your company. You mentioned projection kind of casually, but I mean, are, are you going to have some new products there? Sure, we will have some uh, products there. Um, they, we will showcase uh, our uh, new RGB pure laser uh, family. So, for example, the M4K25 RGB. Uh, this is a super quiet product and it produces 25,000 lumens in a package under 42 kilos. I think it's uh, 92 pounds, please correct me. <laughs> so that's, uh, that's one of his, uh, our showcases, uh, two Chrissy N4K25 RGB, um, projectors. They will project on a logo and screen combination um, above our stand in conjunction with our microtiles LED. Okay. Uh, and this will compose a very attention grabbing installation, at least I hope. And we are showcasing some more pure laser technology. Um, at this point, I'm not divulged to speak more about that. So please come on, <laughs> come on, check out yourself. And of course, we also um, showcase our Inspire series. That's the one chip. Uh, DLP projector family, and um, this will come in three brightness uh, options: six thousand lumens, uh, seven two hundred ANSI lumens, and eight one hundred ANSI lumens. And we also have an um, installation with two DWU nine sixty IS projectors, uh, which is one uh, 
of the brightest short throw zoom lens projectors available actually and we are having a um, dual blend uh, setup there with, where we will showcase our Christy twist software or yep. let's say the Christy Mystique which is a socket product from Christy and um, this is an automated camera based alignment uh, solution it's mind boggling um, if you if you want to see how that works i shot a great video of it a few years ago um in, in sort of like uh in real time and how it sort of uh uses cameras to to do image mapping alignment on almost any surface very rapidly okay. that is one of my favorite products another one of my favorite products is is has been always been the micro tiles and that uh, at ise the last time we were there you showed the micro tiles led what's interesting about that is that's all connected I, via uh, SDVOE. And I want to talk to you about your SDVOE products uh, really quickly because obviously the Terra, the uh, Christie Terra product line is a, is a key point, uh, uh, you know, a key uh, segment of your, you're the first brand to actually incorporate uh, SDVOE inputs on, pro, on uh, display products. You have your own ecosystem using SDVOE through the Terra. But you've also done something with regard to Pandora's box so that's kind of interesting that you're going to show for the first time at IEC. Can you walk us through the, those and how the Terra works into that? Uh, sure. Um, so uh, Christy Pandora's box, that's our media server um, solution or a playback solution for, for uh, different showcases or, or projects. Um, you can use it in different uh, circumstances on Fixed installations, it's used on cruise ships, in theaters, um, uh, road shows, and uh, corporate events. Uh, it's uh, it's about show control, uh, composing contents, uh, and uh, get it out to any product display. Um, it actually was developed already in 2003, so it has a long history and a, and a huge community, uh, which is which we are very, very proud of. And we're listening to our uh, community there to get that feedback and we're in touch with them uh, to keep that software alive. Um, and last year we just released version eight. Um, wow. And with, with version eight, uh, we introduced a complete new license model. So we, we divided the, the tight hard and software um, license uh, and now uh, you're able to buy hard and software separately if you want to, uh, to meet your requirements for your project. And with the software only option, you can turn nearly any hardware into a powerful media service. Part. You have to hit some specs for your project, right. for your own requirements, of course, but yeah. And we also have many improvements with version eight. Uh, for example, for the timeline programming, we streamlined the workflow there. And to just to mention some other feature that's native Dante audio playback. So there is a Dante license included in the Panoras Box license. And we have Notch support and NDI and Terra inputs. So we can directly use our Terra um, AV distribution system. Uh, to f feed into Panora's box and of course to distribute the outputs to any display. And that's yeah. the Terra yeah. side. Why, why is it that you're using SDVOE uh, between mm -hmm. the Pandora's? Explain how what the advantage of that is. So the big advantage is that, that it's AV over IP. That's a big yeah. keyword for everybody in the industry actually. And uh, the benefit is that you can use off-the-shelf 10G Ethernet components, which lowers the cost immensely. Um, but it's still um, a scalable and flexible system. Um, you can um, replace any matrix um, solution so far. And it, it still provides very high quality, so it can, you can send up to 4K at 60 frames per second, nearly uncompressed, so visibly, no compression yeah, at all. It's 10 gigs, so you're, you, you don't yes. see any compression there, yeah. Yes, that's true. Yeah, and and talk about, there, <clears throat> there's a new, or new to me, I should say. I wasn't familiar with something that you have called Pandora's Box Notch. Uh, talk about that real quick, because I know a lot, I mean, Pandora's Box, like you said, has been around since, it's, it's almost 20 years old, yet the updates have kept it very current. And what you have ultimately 
the way I've always described it is uh, like the ultimate media player for any application. Like literally you can output any resolution. It, it creates a digital canvas that allows you to store. And one of the big biggest issues with that kind of stuff is storing it and moving it around. Well, with Pandora's box, you have all in one with that. So what is the notch? Well, notch, uh, it's, it's a separate, uh, different company uh, creating that software. It's uh, it's a, a live 3D render engine um, or composing uh, application. Uh, you may know um, Unreal or Unity as well. Yeah. So it's kind of yeah. the same thing. Um, okay. You can create stunning 3D scenes, use uh, creative um, particle effects. That's what I wanted to say. So, okay, yeah. So get stunning particle effects and everything, create a scene for... Um, for a virtual studio or something, or even on events or something like that. And the thing to put it into Panora's box is you can export the complete scene out of this tool into Panora's box, and you can expose parameters, which are then okay. directly controllable with our live render engine. So in all, all, all what makes Panora's box then uh, so great is that you have the flexibility to, inter, uh, to interact at any point any time when you want and to interact also with these parameters on the timeline base or interactive inputs like tracking cameras or whatever you can think of triggers. So, that's yeah, so ultimately, uh, you know, I, I think what, everyone should put Christy on their uh, list of booth stops or stand stops at ISE in Barcelona you will be at 3K600, 3K600. I don't even know what those numbers and letters mean yet because I haven't been there to the show since they, you know, obviously it's new to be in Barcelona, but I do know it's 3K600 um, and uh, that's where you're going to be. I, I, you know, I, I would, uh, I would be surprised if everyone doesn't just plan to go by there because you always have something really impressive. You always do something experiential in your booth. And, uh, and, and like you said, you have sort of an Indian, uh, concept for your booth where you're showing everything connected together and logically, uh, you know, how everything works together. Uh, but, but I'm excited uh, to see you finally in person. I'm excited to be back to back to the show. And, and certainly Christy's always one of those, the, one of the booths and stands that I always go to. So I'm excited to see you at ISE. We'll all be at ISC. Thomas, thank you very much for your time today. I really appreciate it. Thank you as well. Hope to see everybody at uh, ISE. Yeah, and we'll put links to all this stuff in the description of this video cast. So make sure you check it all out. And of course, if you want to see all of our ISE coverage, just go to raypubs.com. Thanks for thanks for watching today and have a great afternoon. Ray, Ray, Ray. With Ransom.